Another Day, Another Book. The Ivory Throne, Chronicles of the House of Travancore, is a captivating and meticulously researched historical non-fiction book written by Manu S. Pillai. Published in 2015, the book delves into the rich and complex history of the Kingdom of Travancore in southern India, with a particular focus on the life and reign of Sethu Lakshmi Bai, a female ruler who ascended the throne at a young age. Travancore, a kingdom located in present-day Kerala, had a remarkable and tumultuous history that spans several centuries. Pillay's book provides a comprehensive account of the kingdom's political, social, and cultural landscape, offering readers a deep understanding of its intricate dynamics. At the heart of the narrative is Sethu Lakshmi Bai, who became the ruler of Travancore in 1924, following the death of her uncle, and faced numerous challenges due to her gender. Pillai skillfully brings to life the world of Travancore, weaving together a tapestry of historical events, cultural nuances, and political intrigues. Through meticulous research and engaging storytelling, he paints a vivid picture of the kingdom, its rulers, and its interactions with the British Raj and other external forces. The author delves into the inner workings of Travancore's governance and administration, shedding light on the mechanisms that sustained the kingdom's power and influence. The Ivory Throne, explores the socio-political landscape of Travancore, providing valuable insights into the intricate web of relationships and power dynamics within the royal family. Pillai delves into the lives of the kings and queens who shaped the destiny of the kingdom, offering a nuanced understanding of their motivations, aspirations, and challenges. He examines the religious and cultural practices that were integral to Travancore's identity, highlighting their significance in the region's history. One of the book's central themes is the role of gender in a patriarchal society. Sethu Lakshmi Bai's reign as a female ruler faced opposition and skepticism, but she defied expectations and left an indelible mark on Travancore's history. Pillai skillfully navigates this aspect, exploring how gender shaped not only the dynamics within the royal family but also the wider socio-political landscape of the kingdom. The Ivory Throne, also delves into Travancore's interactions with the British Raj. Through detailed narratives and historical accounts, Pillai portrays the delicate balance of power between the British colonial forces and the indigenous rulers. He explores the compromises, alliances, and conflicts that shaped the kingdom's relationship with the British, shedding light on the complexities of colonialism and its impact on Travancore's society and governance. Pillay's writing style is captivating and immersive, transporting readers to a bygone era. He seamlessly blends historical facts with compelling storytelling, making the characters and events come alive. Whether it's the grandeur of royal ceremonies, the political machinations of courtiers, or the everyday lives of the people, Pillay's attention to detail and vivid descriptions create a rich and engaging narrative. The Ivory Throne stands as a testament to Manu S. Pillay's meticulous research and storytelling prowess. The book offers readers a fascinating journey into the history of Travancore, unraveling its complexities and shedding light on the often overlooked narratives of women and marginalized voices. With its comprehensive exploration of power, politics, and identity, The Ivory Throne has firmly established itself as an essential read for anyone interested in Indian history and the intricacies of royal dynasties. Thanks for watching.